we were looking at some IR remote controls and I had one remote control here that actually came with that Walmart Christmas tree that we were all playing with and that so many people bought. And I had that remote control and I was playing with that, trying to figure out WLED and IR remote controls. And it wasn't perfect. So I went on here to Amazon during the stream and I bought these two remote controls. They're the same, but there was two of them for seven bucks. So I bought two of them. There they are. It has on here all these colors, then it's got a bunch of effects. So I'm going to play with this and see if this is going to work out of the box or what things we need to do. We're going to look at this IR. So we're going to go into the config here. We're going to go into, is it LED preferences? I can't remember where you choose that. Yep, here it is. Okay, IR GPIO5 24 key RGB. No, this one is the 44 key RGB. So hopefully that's the one. Hopefully that's the one. 44 key RGB. That should be this, hopefully. All right, so let's see. Yes! Oh, it does the colors. Oh, it even gets the colors right. Oh, baby. Yes. Yep, there's brightness, so I can dim it. Oh, that's off. So that's on. The one next to it is off. Okay. Oh, what did I do? Freak it out? I freaked it out. Oh, sheesh, I broke it. How did I break it? All right, so we're going to make a preset. Piece of cake. Easy peasy. Preset. Preset. Chew churn. Great, use current state. Uh, let's switch it now to something else. Let's go back to solid. And then let's see if DIY1, the DIY1 button here, turns that back on. Of course it does. Of course it does, because that makes sense. Yes. Okay, my guess, and this is not gonna be a very big stretch, is that these six DIY buttons are gonna activate presets one through six. Red changes the effect. Green changes the, the palette. Blue changes the intensity. And then this quick and slow changes the speed, the timing. Sweet. We got brightness up here. We got on off. We got some colors. We, we found almost all of them by trial and error. Now let's go find out what this jump three, jump seven, fade two, fade seven, and flash. Flash sets the effect to palette. If I hit auto, goes back to solid and green. If I hit flash, it goes to palette. So we want the IR44. Because we're working with the IR44 remote. Jump three, jump seven, fade three, and fade seven just set the brightness. And there's four different brightnesses. So there's really dim. There's brighter, brighter, brightest. We got it. Yay. I can definitely recommend this because it does a lot of stuff out of the box. It gives you six presets, basically controls just about everything you're going to want to control with WLED. And it gives you pr six presets here. And two of them are seven bucks. So for like three or $4, if you have like for, for a lot of us, we have family members who aren't going to use the app but they want to control their lights. And something like this, they, they will use. The Digge to Go is fantastic for like little projects, kids' bedroom lights, those kinds of things. And, and the kids or the wives or the whoever's uh, that don't wanna always get in the app and do all that stuff, the IR will always work. Plus if, you, if your Wi-Fi is not working or something, you know, you don't, you have guests or anything like that, this, I, I can recommend this. I can recommend this. Awesome, there's a link in the description. Now, Let's go to some of these other ones. So I've got, excuse me, I've got these two that I that I found in an old drawer. Look at this one right here. I got this one, Magic Light, Magic Lighting Control, 24 key. Let's go check it out. JSON Remote. Oh, <gasps> do you guys see what just happened? Do you see what just happened? Okay, so I chose JSON Remote and then it says, choose your file to upload. Oh my heavens. You know what that means? That means I go to this page and I get this JSON IR JSON right here. 
And not only do I just upload this, like I can save this and upload it, I can change it. I can change it and make it whatever I want. Oh, this is exciting. So we're gonna take this file here. We need to save it, save as, and it is 24 key, gr J oh my gosh, this is amazing. This, wow, I mean, it rarely works this well. So then we're gonna open this and edit it though. I wanna open it in Visual Studio if I can. Nope, it's gonna open in some other dang thing. Oh no, it is gonna open in Visual Studio. Yay! We can take this remote control, this gray remote control here, and we can give it whatever effects we want. Dude, that's amazing! I don't know that I'm gonna change any of these right now, but I totally could. Look, you can just change this. This right here, Oh, that does T equals zero, FX equals zero, palette zero, sets everything to the middle. Oh my gosh, man. This is amazing. This sets the, the preset basically or the color or whatever. So you just change this. So in WLED, let's go here for a minute and just show you how you could put in your own like extra presets. It's got all this, right? It's got tons of stuff in here. This, all of this is the preset. So you could copy all that, go to the Visual Studio, and then in here, this command, you could make that this, so that when I press, let's just say when I press the, let's do the yellow button down in the corner. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna probably have to sort out a little bit of this stuff. Oh, you'd have to change the format. You gotta change it from on, true, bright, so that it's got like this. You gotta change it so that it's each one of those. T equals zero and FX this and whatever, whatever. So you have to change it around a little bit, but you can do that too. Anyway, all right, let's upload this. Let's upload it, but you can change it. Okay. So you could, if you wanted your colors for these to be a little bit different, or you wanted to put another preset in here, you could just tell it which preset number to put in. You just make, just as easily say, uh, I want this button to do instead of red, zero, green, zero, blue, 225, you could set it to uh, whatever preset is PX equals six. And then it would turn on preset number six for you or something like that. Okay. So you can change that. You can customize that right in here, change these things. So let's go back here and let's just upload this back to the settings, led preferences, IR remote, re JSON remote, choose a file, pick the 24 key gray IR JSON file, which they already made for us and upload it. File uploaded, save and reboot, reboot, boom, turned off, bang, turned on, red, green, blue, yellow. So we got some buttons over here. Uh, flash, strobe, fade, and smooth. Let's see what flash strobe fade and smooth do strobe turns up the speed fade changes the palette but you can change any of those things you could go in there and change them in the json file and then upload it oh my gosh that is so doggone cool woohoo man that was fun awesome awesome <laughs>